Thank you. Hey guys, I'm so excited. First video on putting up with the Perkins. This is awesome. Okay, um, so I got a ton of requests about um, my birth story. So we will go ahead and start there. So I will start with Bo because he's the firstborn. Um, but my pregnancy with Bo was pretty, pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. I just gained a ton of weight. Um, I swore I was going to have him at like 36 weeks, but that was not the case. I actually made it to my due date and they scheduled me an induction date. So, um, usually the day before you get induced, they'll take you to the hospital or they'll send you to the hospital and you have to get what's called a stress test. They'll put like these monitors over your belly, um, just to, like monitor baby, make sure like everything's good so you can be induced like the following day. So it was like one o'clock in the afternoon. I went in for my stress test. Um, and like they were hooking me up and like I just started getting so uncomfortable like these tightening cramping the tightening cramping feeling um and they were like you're having contractions we can see them on the monitor do you feel them and I'm like yeah I do I was like I do um and so they're like okay well since you're having contractions let's see if they stick um which they they did stick they were they were staying there so they're like okay let's see um where you're at let's check you to see how dilated you are so they checked me and I was at a four. I was like, ooh, this is happening. Um, and they were like, we are not like gonna get you a room until you're at a six. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> what? Um, and so they were like, go walk around the hospital for two hours and come back and we'll see if anything's changed. So I, we, me and my husband, Ryan, we went and we walked around the hospital. <laughs> Every single contraction I was having, I was like grabbing onto the wall. I was like breathing through it. I looked so ugly. My husband has a picture. Um, but yeah, so we walked around, we got some food, um, we went back up and I was still out of four. So they sent us home. I was so scary to be sent home at a four when this was my first baby. I was like, I'm gonna have this baby at home. But luckily we lived right side of right outside of base because we were military, so we um I was gonna give birth on a military in a military hospital so we went home I tried to take a nap I tried to relax I was like maybe I could take a bath maybe I could take a nap I really wanted to take a nap because like those contractions will kick your butt and you're just like exhausted you're over it um I could not fall asleep they just like kept coming kept coming eventually after every single contraction I was crying my eyes out it hurt so bad um and so my husband's like okay let's um monitor and like see let's time them so i was two minutes apart so he's like okay we gotta go <laughs> like we gotta go you're crying you're two minutes apart um he wheeled me up to the fourth floor <laughs> in a wheelchair and i'm like ah <laughs> and like i'm like he's like checking me in and there's this like little boy in the waiting room he had to have been like five or six and he looked so <laughs> terrified <laughs> he's like he was scared he was scared and i was like i didn't care i was in pain so they brought me back. They checked me. I was at six. So they're like, okay, let's get you a room. I was like, okay, I don't really care about anything. I'm in so much pain. Um, so they, they were like, okay, do you want an epidural? And I was like, um, yep. Woo, woo. <laughs> so, um, they were like, okay, well, let's get you an epidural because we don't know how fast this can go. So I was scared. I was shaking because you hear all these horror stories about, um, getting an epidural. Oh, and I didn't say this. So when we went into the hospital, you guys, it was three in the morning. So keep in mind that I had just been contracting for 12 hours since it was one o'clock in the afternoon when we went in to get my stress test. And then we didn't go back till three in the morning. So it was almost 12 hours of me just contracting at home. I was over it. I was so tired, it hurt. Um, and so <laughs> I was just like, I honestly was like, whatever, I don't even care at this point. The um, epidural didn't hurt, didn't care. The only thing that sucked is like, you have to stay so still and like you have to push through your contractions and you can't move or anything, but um, they're pretty quick about it. So um, got my epidural, went back. When you get an epidural, you have to have a um, catheter. That was one of the worst parts for me. That hurts so bad. I don't know how people get catheters all the time. That hurts so bad. Um, 
But anyway, so we got my catheter and then they were like, okay, well, like just relax. It's not time to push or anything. Um, and I was like, I was like feeling good. I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, I'm nervous. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, and so I don't even remember how it happened or like everything. Cause I like kind of blacked out through all of this, like all of this that's coming up. Um, I only remember because Ryan told me, um, like sometimes it slowly comes back to me, but, um, I remember I started to feel my legs. Like I started to feel the contractions. Um, and it was like, I could feel my legs again. And when you have an epidural, you should not, when you push your legs, you shouldn't be able to feel the pressure that you're pushing like on your legs. Um, and I could feel again, but I didn't realize because like they give you this little button that you can press and like you can keep getting um, more, more juice or mess. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I like kept pressing the button, but like it wasn't working and I didn't realize. Um, so I was at the point where I started screaming during my contractions. Um, it had went from not feeling any pain at all to feeling every single second of it. So I was screaming and the nurse came in and she's like, she should not be feeling this. Can someone get like the anesthesiologist in here? And like, so they called him in. Um, I was screaming and I remember looking at the nurse and I'm like, I have to push like I have to go and she was kind of worried because every time I did push um Bo's heart rate was dropping so she's like it's not time like I know it's not time it might feel like it she's like bear down if you want to during contractions but like he's not coming yet he's not ready to come yet I was like okay so like instead of like really pushing I'm more of just like released and screamed at the top of my lungs every single contraction like ah like if a woman was coming in to give birth and heard me she probably turned around and walked the hell out um but anyways okay so oh my goodness um so I remember the anesthesiologist going to my back as I was screaming he like rolled me over and he was like checking it out and I just hear him saying like oh uh oh okay um and then I hear the doctor say did her epidural fall out uh, what <laughs> excuse me I did not know that that could happen never heard of that no one tells you that I swear no one tells you that or maybe I just did not do enough research no idea that your epidural can fall out can fall out but mine straight up fell out of my spine so I was doing this with no medication it was happening I was pushing and so the nurse kind of like looked and Bo was coming they were not ready for this so like eight doctors ran in not know what to do they're like this is happening this is happening ryan grabbed her leg other nurse grabbed my other leg i did not know how to push i didn't know what i was doing like i was like i thought i would have an epidural and this would work so it'd be like peaceful and i'd be like okay like is this going good am i pushing right was not the case i was just screaming i was i was like letting go with a scream rather than like using my body to push and so they're like you have to push you have to push <sighs> Bo was a big baby so he was stuck um, they could not get him out of me. Um, so they had to use one of those vacuum assist things. I don't even know what that's called. I think it's literally a vacuum assist. Um, and he had so much hair that it kept like falling off because it was like wet hair. Ugh. Um, eventually he came out. <laughs> he was one ounce away from being nine pounds. My first baby, no epidural. Granted, the whole time <clears throat> I was pushing, this anesthesiologist was in my back trying to um, get my epidural back in. So not only was someone poking at my spine, I was pushing a baby, I was having these contractions, and these, these, this pain hit me, like, hit me so hard out of nowhere. Like, I was doing fine with my epidural, and then all of a sudden it just, like, fell out. Yikes, okay. So that was the experience with Bo. I was so out of it. Um, I remember saying something about taxes being high after he like was born. Like, is he crying because taxes are high? <laughs> like, honey, what? <laughs>